What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to A1 Who Zone. Back to chart another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I ain't gonna hold y'all. We're gonna get right to it. So we got the NBA preseason starting up, or actually about five, five games in, some six games in, uh, depending on the team. But nonetheless, I man, we got preseason kicked off coming up. It's wrapping up here, and we got the NBA season getting ready to kick off here pretty soon. Uh, quick recap of the, of the actual preseason um, randomness <laughs> of seeing things that's happening, little minor tweak or freak injuries, uh, things of that nature, man. Uh, the whole uh, Westbrook and and his dynamic with the Lakers. We're gonna we're gonna give a quick outlook on all that real quick, man. So I'll, I'll start there first, man. So it's again, it, it's almost like a a, a continuous or a pickoff from last year. Uh, Lakers drama with, with this man, uh, Russell Westbrook, man. Again, I stated stated it before, and I'll state it again. It was an experiment that what did that didn't work. It's not going to work, and uh, they continue to try and make it work when it's not. Um, nonetheless, you know, obviously, if anybody's seen it or probably hearing about it around the world by now, Pat Bev calling the huddle, Westbrook uh, waving off the huddle, and then also his uh, routine ritual started the game, things of that nature. Again, man, they're making a big deal out of nothing. Uh, again, he's been he's been doing that forever. Uh, that's nothing new, but. Again, my whole thing I go back to, it's not going to work off the Lakers, man. It's, it's, it's just not going to work. They need to go ahead and pull the trigger and make the trade. Uh, reports coming out that they're talking about starting Russ uh, or benching him to start for this uh, sixth game of the preseason tonight. Um, so then that way he can kind of be the, the head of the horse for that second unit. Either way, second unit, third unit, fourth unit is not going to work, man. Regardless, regardless of how you look at it, it's just not going to work uh, in any way or another. Why? The Lakers need shooting. And, uh, you know, we, we need another big that's going to be able to be there to either back up or take over for Anthony Davis, let him play his position that he's kind of more adept to and something that he loves to play, which is the four. Um, so, again, that that looming trade um, that I was hoping that was going to get made, but it seems like uh, Indiana may be uh, kind of backpedaling or not interested at this point for Miles Turner and uh, Buddy Hill to get Westbrook. Uh, that, that you know, that's yet to be seen. Hopefully, they can make it happen because I think it'll be a great fit and great pickup. But we'll see, man. But nonetheless, uh, again, short version of it is not going to work. Uh, no matter what unit, any of that, um, it's just going to be drama. You know, every single day, every single incident that takes place is going to be worldwide news. Uh, I, I don't think it is, but the, you know, it, it, media is going to do what media is going to do about it. But that's my take on that quick situation. Next up, man, I'm hoping that Zion's uh, tweak of his ankle is something that's very minor, nothing nothing serious. The young brother, you can tell, he definitely slimmed down, got in the gym, put in that work, and uh, getting himself ready, you know what I mean, to, to be able to have himself, uh, uh, you know, hoping for a, a long a long season this season, man, uh, whether that be obviously a regular season and uh, hopefully into the playoffs as well. So I'm hoping that, either, again, he can remain or stay healthy or get back healthy. Uh, the ankle injury isn't anything serious, and we can see, you know, what the Pelicans can do, man. They got a team that that's built to to make some noise, and if they're going to be an out, they're going to be a tough out. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to bring to the table for this upcoming season, man. I uh, can't wait to see it. And then obviously, you know, um, Bagley. Uh, I think he had tweaked this. He had an injury as well. Marvin Bagley the third. So wishing him, you know, best of luck and health as well. But again, man, we send these teams out here that's that's. That's playing. Obviously, again, it's preseason, so you can't take it to can you can't put too much emphasis on it. But you know, it's still uh, we're getting to see you know these players type type of shape they're in. Uh, you know what things they've done in the off season. They're kind of still again practicing that even even in the preseason games. But we're getting to see these players kind of rounding in the shape, uh, getting a, a first hand look at at the conditioning or, or things that they've worked on. And uh, I think it's going to be an exciting year. I can't wait to see it, man. I think. I think this year is definitely going to be much more exciting than last year because hopefully all these teams can stay healthy. Uh, obviously, you got the the net situation. They're, they're quote-unquote big three they have now. So we're definitely going to get to see some exciting basketball this year, man. I can't wait to see it. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Just wanted to give a quick update on that, my outtake on it. Um, I, I don't think um, the heavy hitters are going to be the ones that, that people are going to say at the end of the day that are going to make it to the finals. I think we're going to see some upsets this year. I think you're going to see some surprise teams and you're going to see some teams that's, you know, going to be sitting comfortably in their seatings that you wouldn't expect. Um, I'm not going to put a name out there yet. Let me, let me go about at least good 20 games into the season. I'll give my predictions on the, on those, man. But again, that's all I got for you. I think there's going to be some more movement uh, within the NBA. So don't be surprised at that as far as some trades being made or, or, or some pickups, um, but we'll see, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate you stopping through to the zone. 
Uh, make sure you hit that like button again. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know who your team is. Let me know who you're rocking with, man. And I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. Uh, if you wish to support the channel, that information is flowing at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, it'll be in the description of the video, man. But again, appreciate you stopping through to the zone. Y'all be easy.